In this Illustrator tutorial, let's look at how to change all the colors at once. So if you want to change colors in your document all at the same time, I'm going to show you a couple different quick methods. First, you could select everything in your document or click and drag to select certain pieces. And if we have multiple colors within that selection, we can actually go up to Edit, re or edit Colors and then Recolor Artwork. Instead of Recolor Artwork, unlink the colors and then you can drag this, um, these handles around to change the color. So we just took that from a yellow to a green. And you can see we have blues in here. Well, we could make those a little bit more blue or maybe a little bit uh, you know, closer to the center. So we can make some adjustments to the colors here. But another spot that you can do this is actually going up to select and then selecting the same fill color or fill and stroke or stroke color. It just depends on what you're selecting and changing the colors of. So if we select the same fill color, we actually need to have something selected first. So first we'll select this triangle here. And let's say I don't want to go through and click all these other yellow triangles individually. I want to select everything that is that color. So I can go up to select with that triangle or that yellow triangle selected and say, I want everything that's the same fill color as this triangle. So when we do that, now we have this selection of all these yellow triangles. Now you can come over here and double click on this fill swatch and change the color here pretty easily. But one, one trick that I like to use is if you wanted to go back to this and don't want to select the same, you should add a swatch and apply that swatch to these triangles. So we go up to the window drop down, down to swatches to make sure our swatches panel is open. Now inside of here, with these triangles selected, you can add a new swatch. This new swatch panel will allow you to make it a global swatch and make sure that is check marked. Once you have that checked, you can hit OK. And now we've applied this swatch to each of these triangles, which means we can actually double click on this swatch and make an adjustment here to this global swatch. And it will adjust everything that utilizes that swatch color. So global swatches allow you to re-edit them later and it will change every instance of that swatch if it's being used in your shapes or your fills or your strokes. So, and this does apply to both fill and stroke. It doesn't matter. Whatever uh, that swatch is applied to will change. So you can hit OK. That's probably my favorite way to change all the colors at once. The problem is you just kind of have to get that selection made if you're coming into artwork that's already existing so that you can change them all to a swatch color. Now, the other thing is if you start a new document, then you can just start creating those swatches and setting them as global swatches. And you can tell it's a global swatch because it has a little white arrow or a white triangle in the bottom corner of the swatch. And so that's telling you that swatch is utilized globally. And if you re-edit it, it'll change all the instances of that swatch being used. And that's how you can change all the colors at once here in Illustrator.